Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for watching and all that stuff. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. And I'm going to do a video about Aurora HDR. Um, I, I use it a fair amount. I love the product. Um, I just don't create as many HDRs as I used to, partly because I think the, the power and the dynamic range of my camera is so much that um, I don't often need HDR. Uh, and also, really, frankly, the other side of that is the power of software. Uh, you know, Luminar is super freaking powerful. And so I don't feel like I need to create HDRs as much as I did. I uh, felt like I needed to a few years ago and, and even a few years before that, um, you know, based on hardware and software advances. And so um, I don't do as many of them. And admittedly, I think more of my audience likes the Luminar stuff. Um, you know, it, it's uh, HDR is probably a little bit more limited of an audience. But regardless, it's fun as crap to do. Um, I like HDRs. I fire brackets all the time. I just don't always edit, uh, you know, and build HDRs. I'll often take a single exposure from a bracket set and... Uh, just edit that uh, that single exposure. But today's an HDR, so um, let me show you what I got here. Here's my, uh, well, this is not the base exposure. What would you call this? This is a the center exposure from the bracket set. It was a three exposure bracket shot in Seattle. Pike Place Market is to the left uh, behind the, those buildings. Well, not the tall buildings, but kind of the glass uh, and this fence and all that. That's Pike Place Market over there. I was over here shooting a sunset. I did a video about that sunset that I'll put in whichever corner it is. Um, and so after that sunset, blue hour started happening and the lights were coming on. And I just I just adore shooting uh, blue hours in cities. I love the lights and, and just the sort of the, you know, the blue and, the, and then the kind of warmer colors of the lights coming on. I just literally, it's probably my favorite thing to shoot. I love it. So anyway, I was walking around down these steps and there's a deck and there's like a brew pub and all that. And... Uh, I just like the scene, so I shot it. Um, so it was three exposure HDR, and I turned it into that. And like after looking at that, the single exposure, you're kind of like, wow, God, that it almost hurts my eyes. Um, and I've toned it down a little bit. I, I was really going crazy at first, but nonetheless, it's probably, okay, probably <laughs> a little bit unreal, but it's fun as hell to make. And you know what? It's art. You ought to have fun doing it. So I'm having fun. Hope you like it. And if you don't, that's okay too. So. Let me uh, jump into this and I'll show you what I did to the photo. Okay, so here's the base HDR. And as you'll notice, that's much brighter. Um, there we go. There's before and after. I also did a distortion uh, correction, right, of 24, which helped me straighten out the buildings. If you take a look at the before, the buildings are almost a little bit curved. And uh, the one on the left especially seems to be leaning a little bit. And they're nice and straight now. And that's a beautiful thing is having that distortion correction built into Aurora. It's also built into Luminar. It's just super fabulous. But the point here is that um, it's a lot brighter as a base HDR, which actually works well for me in a lot of cases. Probably not every case, but in a lot of cases it works well um, because I like a bright you know, bright-ish, evenly lit photo uh, for my base HDR because I want to build on top of that, add contrast, darken certain areas and things like that through, you know, just employing the different filters. But um, so anyway, I, I looked at this and I was like, I'm kind of happy. Um, I, I like where I am so far. It blended together nicely. There's a plane in the sky that theoretically would have been uh, blurred out um, and this person walking and I didn't even choose ghost reduction. Um, it just put it together nicely um, on its own. So uh, also, all these cars are moving, but uh, anyway, it all worked out fine. So what did I do? I started with the basic panel. Let me pop into that. And you can see here that immediately made a big difference in the photo. Um, I added a lot of contrast. It took Smart Tone down all the way because that, uh, you know, unedited base HDR was too bright for my taste. I took down highlights and shadows and just a little tiny bit of temperature and tint. Bottom line, I just try to get a darker exposure because I do want to accentuate some of the color, and I want to, uh, which I think is lost when the photo is kind of bright. And I want to accentuate some of the difference between the cooler tones in the sky and kind of the warmer tones that these golden lights on the edge of these stairways uh, uh, is bringing up. So uh, that was step one. Step two is color, and so a bump in vibrance and color contrast, and you can see massive difference, right? Before, after, a whole lot more color punch, and at this point. You know, I'm two filters in and I'm kind of thinking, yeah, baby, this is going to be fun. Um, and as I said earlier, you ought to have fun doing it, right? Uh, next was HDR Enhance. I added clarity and smart structure, both of which I think work really well. Um, if you'll note it, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, I'm starting to get a little bit of grain in the sky from having to add, uh, you know, I've added a fair amount of these, uh, but I'm going to take that out in a subsequent layer, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it is bringing up a nice layer of 
or le- um, um, a nice bit, I guess, of kind of grit and and sharpness and kind of detail in the uh, you know the buildings over here look better. This fence looks good. This concrete walkway looks good. By the way, those of you that would ask, in case you can't see it, it's a three exposure HDR shot at negative four, negative two, and zero. ISO 500 and uh, aperture of 5.6. It's handheld. I didn't have my tripod on this trip, and I was shooting with a prime lens, 28 millimeter f2. So um, that's what I did there. Uh, next up is LUTs. Um, I like the one LUT, Glorious. I don't really like the other LUTs. I got, I got to be honest. I think it's cool. It's a neat feature to have in both Luminar and Aurora. But I got to admit, I don't. I don't really like LUTs a whole lot. I'd rather have a preset or I guess they're called looks now. Uh, I think you get better control over the photo um, than I do with a LUT. And, you know, maybe it's just the LUTs that I've gotten. I've got a bunch of free ones from uh, from online. And sometimes you get some really cool looks, but um, it's not my thing. However, in the case of this LUT called Glorious in Aurora HDR, I like it. I think it looks really good. So there's the before and there's the after. It kind of adds a little bit of that sunsetty pink kind of color, which I like, especially in like a blue hour or sunset photo. And then this layer was a little image radiance. As you can see, I just added that. And so at this point, I'm, I've am i got the photo and I'm like, I like it. I mean, I think it's looking good. It needs some touch up. It needs a little, you know, nip and tuck here and there, so to speak, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, but one thing I didn't like, uh, I wanted to change a little bit of the color. So I actually took it over to Luminar. So you can do that from Aurora. You just go to plug in and you can just say Luminar right there and it'll take you over there. You can do whatever you do in Luminar, hit apply and it brings it back as its own Luminar layer. Um, however, I can't show you what I did. So, um, I mean, I can't tell you the filters because I forgot um, I did this a few days ago. Um, but let me show you, there's the difference. And so I do recall, I did a little bit of golden hour as you can probably tell, I did a little bit of color balance as well. And so really what it was about was fixing up for me some of the color in the bottom of that uh, photo. So let me show you the before and the after. It looks like I actually did a little bit of uh, lens distortion, um, kind of came back a little bit um, as well. So um, I don't remember doing that, but hey, um, apparently I did. So anyway, so that's one of the cool things about Aurora is you can just pop over to Luminar. Um, Luminar has more, fil- there's 50 filters. There's some super powerful stuff that... I feel like I can't live without, right? It's obviously not that dramatic, but like when I'm editing Im- images, I'm like, oh, thank God for, you know, color balance or golden hour or whatever it may be, adjustable gradient, you know, um, whatever. There, there's a lot of stuff in there that I'm just, um, well, I depend on, I guess is what it comes down to. So anyway, I did a layer of Luminar and then I came back and said, all right, well, I'm getting there. What do I want to do? I want to get rid of that noise. And so this is where I denoise the sky. So I can just show you that layer or excuse me, that brush mask. Uh, oops, let me hit the, there you go. So I did a little bit of a sloppy job. I mean, you know, we're friends. I'm just kind of uh, doing it for fun here, but um, that's what I did. Basically, you go into denoise. I bumped it up to 72, which is a pretty high amount. You don't have to go that far. It wasn't really that noisy. Um, for me, I just like really smooth skies. I like them to be a little bit dreamy, kind of ethereal, a little buttery, I guess, you know, whipped butter, not hard butter, a uh, smooth kind of just yummy. I don't know what to call it, but I like it. So I did that with the denoise. So I generally, when I'm doing denoise or like in Luminar, sometimes I use negative structure and do that pretty heavy handed. Um, And that's because I just want to get things really smooth, just personal preference. Um, Anyway, so that was that layer. And then the last thing was really just coming in and um, I made two more adjustments and that was, let me close the denoise. I added a little bit of color adjustment, which is I took the saturation down it was uh, even for me, I admit it. It was a little colorful. I love my colors, uh, but it was getting a little on the, getting close to being clown vomity. So much stuff was so saturated. Um, and I like a big kind of in your face HDR. So if it's not your thing, totally get it. Um, but I actually sort of came back a little bit, pulled that back, and then I added a vignette just to wrap it up with. Um, and one of the cool things is uh, is the inner brightness feature, also in Luminar on the vignette filter. But if you look at the center of the photo, it's basically a little bit brighter. So there it is, darker, the original non-vignette uh, version, and there it is with the vignette. I darken the edges a little bit, pop the center. I just love to do that. I think it helps draw you into the photo. And that is my full HDR workflow for this one. There's the center exposure from the bracket set, and there's the finish blended HDR 
three exposures handheld with uh, a little bit of Luminar love, uh, but a whole lot of uh, Aurora HDR love. And that's the power of these products. You can just do so much, like it or not. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a little hyper real, maybe. I was gonna say unreal, and it kind of is unreal, but it's a little hyper real. Um, you know, but I kind of like that about HDRs. Um, you can make them that way. I don't do it all the time, but hey, if you're gonna do it, just like don't mess around, just freaking do it, right? So anyway, one more time. There's the center exposure and there's the blended HDR with a little bit of Luminar touch up as well. And that's how it went, my friends. Quick, easy, fun, and um, you know, hey, if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong, right? This is art, you should be having fun. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you want more HDR videos, let me know. Um, I got plenty of brackets. It says people seem to watch my Luminar videos more. And so that kind of tells me based on the statistics that I see in my account that people are more interested in, in Luminar tips and tricks than they are HDR stuff. But uh, I can do both. I like them both. So I'll do whatever. You guys tell me what you want. I'll do my best to help fulfill it. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and hanging out. I'll be back soon with more videos. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care and adios.